All right, guys, today we are going to do a uh, primer ball and fuel lines on this Home Light AP125 water pump. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this air filter assembly. Now we're going to take out these two bolts. It's a T25 torque or a flathead screwdriver. Okay, now we're going to take off these four Phillips head screws. So we're going to pull this top plate off. Get any of the debris out of this thing. Push the old primer ball out of it. Make sure it's all empty. Put the new primer ball in it. Now, uh, primer ball, um, fuel lines, carburetor, everything you'll need for this job will be in the comments below. We're going to put that back on. Make sure that the primer ball is set on the outside where it sets down nicely. And then tighten all four screws back in. Now, we're going to make sure the gasket is on this side of the carburetor or at least still stuck on the engine. Um, we're going to take the uh, air filter assembly um, and we're going to push it back on the carburetor. Make sure the gasket's on the back of the carburetor and bolt it back down. Just like this. And then bolt it back in place. We're going to open this up. We're going to empty all the debris out of it, rinse it out, make sure there's no bad oil, gas or anything in it. I dumped out the gas tank and all these bolts came out of it. And I noticed that this has uh, been taken off, so I'll be checking that, make sure that that O-ring is still in place and whatnot. But we're gonna stick to this video instead. So, all right, hold on. I figured since it was there, I'd take that last bolt that's up here out. So you can see the bottom, see this gasket here? If this gasket is torn, it'll act like a fuel issue. So sometimes it is that. Very rarely it's that though. So we're gonna put that back on, put the five bolts back in it. Actually, since we got this off, I can do, it'll be easier for me to do the gas tank. I can show you what's crapping in there. Cut the uh, fuel line to a point, stick it in the back hole, get it in the tank about an inch. Then we're gonna cut it, you know, about five inches or so. You know, you want it up where you got plenty of room to get it to stab onto the carburetor. So I'll cut it to a point again, shove it in here. This time, you're going to keep working it down in until you can get it to pull out the gas tank. I use long needle nose. If you don't have it, you just got to use short needle nose and keep pushing it, keep pushing it, keep pushing it until you got enough in there to reach in with like a, a clothes hanger or even your finger just reach in and grab it and pull it out here about this far just so you guys know this is a pain in the ass you gotta grab it about here and then slowly apply pressure evenly and it'll go down into the tank very slowly look there you go let's see if i can get a better angle And this is with one hand. There you go. It's going to be slow like that, just so you know. But eventually, the line's going to be starting to show down there like that. And you're going to reach in there with like a piece of wire, bend a hook in the end of it, and you get a hold of it and bring it out. Cut the tip off of it. Brand new filter, stab it on the end. We're gonna pull back on this line and slowly pull this back into the gas tank. And you're just gonna pull it out on this line until the filter's laying on the bottom of the tank in there. All right, putting it back in, I'm gonna put the, uh, the screws back on, but normally you would do it right here with it all hooked up still. So don't take that off. Sometimes you take this off, that gasket rips, and then you're kind of screwed. Um, so don't take that off. You're just going to leave it in there. I'm going to put it together now, though. Long line, this is the, uh, the one with the fuel filter. It's going to go to this top line closest to the primer ball. This short line 
is going to go to the bottom line, furthest away from the primer ball. Right there. So we got the bottom one hooked up. And the top one we run through here. And then we're going to cut it off right about here so we can stab it onto there. And the new air filter. Put the new, uh, air filter cover back on. Gas. Fire it up. Prime it. Fire it up. Alright guys, this helped you in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Um, all the parts will be in the description below. Uh, today's t-shirt will also be in the description below. Um, if you want me to wear one of your business shirts, mail me one. I'll be more than happy to. Peace.